Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H., and welcome to the project. I'm here with the new WJ, and as you can see from the intro, we got a bad fan. Now, the worst part about that bad fan is it's a new fan, and what's even worse than the worst part is there was nothing wrong with the old fan. I had this all apart when I put in the engine, and uh, figured while it was apart, I'll put a brand new fan in. We could last a whole long time, so I did a new fan, a new fan relay, because you don't want that fan to go out and have your Jeep overheating. So I put it in, I went through all the trouble of getting that new fan in there, started it up, and it sounded like crap, and I went against the old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it, and now I'm paying the price, because I'm getting rid of that fan, uh, mo the fan motor, I should say. That fan motor is getting pulled out, I already got a refund for it, and uh, I'm gonna put in the original fan, which was working just fine. So now I gotta take this apart again, and I gotta get to the the, the little fan and the fan motor. So here we go, another little project. Uh, luckily, the bumper is already off. I'm gonna try to just pull this out, make some room. I'll show you what this thing looks like from the top. Here we go. Here's your classic WJ without the front bumper and without the grill. We got the header panel here and the headlights. It all. Just bolts together with a couple 10 millimeters. Um, header panels are pretty easy. Oh, here we go. Here's some torques here. Maybe the header panel is torques. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm gonna take out the headlights, pull the header panel. The idea of what I'm doing is, well, the radiator, it's a new radiator, by the way. The radiator is basically the center of this whole front end fan configuration. The radiator bolts in with two long 10 millimeter bolts right in there. And then the rest of this stuff, well, the front bolts to the front right here. There's a couple more brackets that bolt to the radiator area. And the fan itself bolts, uh, where are they? There's some 10 millimeters right here. So I wanna try to make some room, pull out the radiator, and then separate the fan shroud and the fan. Then I could get in there, get the fan out, get the motor out. So yeah, we'll do that. Here you can see my old fan and the old fan motor. It's crusty, but it works. Let me show you. I'll put it on my bench tester. I got my bench tester right there, about 13 volts. And what we're gonna do is plug it in right here, some power, and here we go. I got my lovely assistant holding the camera. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna touch it right here. There we go, the fan's going. Oh. Yeah, it feels oh. good, right? <laughs> yeah, this thing's gonna take off. <laughs> Woo! <Whoa. laughs> Ooh. Look, mama. I'm not allowed to be here. Oh, That fan is quiet. There we go, you can see this fan is running just about at 12 volts and we're only pulling 10.14 amps. So we know the fan is good, it's drawing just enough power, we're not gonna blow any fuses and we're not gonna blow the fan relay. We're gonna put this old fan motor back in. We're gonna start with the seven millimeter headlight bolts. Nice long studs, seven millimeter. And then they should just pop out of their clips. Oop, there we go. Got my bosses from my Green Hornet WJ. Press that right there. Red light two. Now we have eight header panel bolts. They're T30, one, two, eight. We'll get these out. All right, here we go. Just uh, pop that little lock clip out. And push the button. It slides right out. There we go. gonna unplug the ambient air I'm just gonna unplug the ambient air temperature sensor and we'll take the header panel out with the headlights 
All right, I got a beautiful set of not rusted factory hardware. I'm just gonna, <laughs> that's why I got a nice magnet tray. I don't wanna drop them and lose them. So, oh, I did it again. I'm gonna switch over to the 10 millimeter, take off this radiator support bracket. Again, nice painted hardware. Two more up here. And come to think of it, I probably didn't need to remove the headlights. Could have taken the header panel off without even touching them. And then we got a 13 millimeter to take off the hood latch. Hey buddy, press the trigger. Take this off of me. Okay. There you go. Good job, right there. Go. You did it. Good boy. All right, let's wiggle off the support bracket. Looks like we got what we want exposed, exposed to 10 millimeter right here. And then we could kind of pull apart the radiator assembly and fan shroud. I might have to detach the hose. I kind of don't want to do it because I just burped the whole system. It's running great, air free, but if I have to, I have to. We'll see what I could do with taking off those two 10 millimeters. Nothing like clean factory hardware with anti seize on it. All right, we gotta disconnect the fan motor. Right here we got a locky clippy. These things are kind of hard to do. They're even harder with one hand, but I've gotten used to it over time. <laughs> All right, now to separate the fan shroud from the radiator, there's four 10 millimeter nuts or bolts or fasteners, if you will. We got one way down there. Right there, there's one, two right there, and then the same on the other side. Bada bing, bada boom. They are hard to get to, hard to see, because of all the stuff in the way, and that's why we gotta make all this room. So we'll see what I can do without detaching this hose, this new lovely hose. All right, these tools are amazing for this type of job. Thank you, Michael Duck. Let's see if I could get in here. There we go. Little 10 millimeter guys right here. That's just extremely annoying. I just assembled all this outside the vehicle nice and neat. And now I'm taking it apart the difficult way. Jeep my life. This bottom one down here, behind the steering box, wants to give me guff. Guff! Come on, Jeep. Don't give me any guff. Don't take no guff from nobody! I have a little bit of extra plumbing for a factory <laughs> adapted uh, trans cooler. So, uh, very annoying, but I can get it with my finger now. Got you! Yeah, I got you! I got you on camera. There we go. These are the 10 millimeter fasteners we need. One, oh, two way over there. And then the third one is at the bottom. All right. Got my trusty snap on. Thank you, Michael Duck. And just kind of get my hand in here. <laughs> there we go guys I was able to wiggle the fan out a little bit still without disconnecting any plumbing um, I'm probably making more work for myself in the long run, but shoot I'm on a mission now There we go. There it is We're gonna detach the fan From the shroud and motor just gonna pop off this little clip right here. Here comes your fan. Notice a little balancing bearing there. And we detach the motor with three 10 millimeters. Unplug the wires. There we go, bad motor out. All right, I couldn't help myself. I ended up getting another new fan online, but before I put it in, I'm gonna test it, so. Here we go. All 
right, bear with me while I reassemble a, another fan. Drop the wire through. Want to make sure that these little Christmas tree fasteners go where they're supposed to. You're also going to want to make sure you align it so the wire comes out in this opening. Here we go. It's pretty self-explanatory. We just pop that in there and we'll pop this one up here. 10 millimeter. All right, now we'll just put on our fan. Now we got a little triangle up here. We want to line it up to this triangle in here. There we go. That drops right in. We'll go ahead and tap on our little lock. And be advised guys, not all fans have this little slide on clip fastener. This one has a little eight millimeter screw. So depending on your Jeep and depending on your fastener, just roll with it. Before we take the time of installing this bad boy, we're gonna go ahead and verify that it still works. So here we go. Beautiful. All right, fan works. Only thing left to do is put this baby back in. So I'm gonna do that carefully now. I'm gonna install it the exact way I removed it. Yeah, wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, the fan is in and before I continue any further, I'm just going to double check that everything spins smoothly and quietly. Again, that was the whole purpose of this project, quietness. Here we go. Wow. That is smooth. Low. All right, guys, here is a critical maneuver when you're dealing with a WJ fan. Let's say your fan stops working, but you go ahead and you test it, and it actually does work, like this one does here, but it doesn't run in the vehicle. It could be the fan relay. This is a WJ fan relay for an electric fan. What is going on here is this relay gets really hot and it overheats and craps out. If you do get a new relay, you're gonna have to install it by removing the front bumper and the header panel. It's kind of annoying, but this is where you have to put it. It's very special in this spot because this is a flat level surface. Now why you need that, this part is a heat sink. What it does is it anchors to the metal frame and draws out all the heat. To attach it, you're gonna wanna have some heat sink compound right here it also comes in a little vial you want to put a hearty amount of heat sink compound on the back of this smush it down really good to your frame and then bolt it back on this will ensure that the heat gets drawn out of this it dissipates into the body of the vehicle and it won't overheat anymore common problem so make sure you install it with heat compound and right back where it's supposed to be. You don't want to relocate it up in here where I was tempted to, but I realized it's a heat sink. So very important, get a new relay, heat sink it, and make sure your fan is good to go.
right guys there we go back to how I had it I'm not gonna put on the bumper and the grill yet because I'm doing a little little different thing I'm going for a 2003 Columbia edition so what I need to do is get myself a bright silver metallic grill and I have to paint my green bumper my limited bumper that was on the Green Hornet I'm gonna paint that graphite we're gonna do ourselves a clone for a Columbia edition they only made them in 2004 we're gonna do a Columbia edition 2003 style. All right guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned a couple tips and tricks for working on these fans. I uh, will leave a link in the description to everything, all the parts that you might need, and the uh, new company who supplied the new fan. Forget that China crap, that stuff does not work. We're gonna go with Made in USA if we can. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next project. Peace.